Greetings everyone. Today we're going to explore solving multi-step equations with distribution. We do have a notes sheet for this, but you can also write it in your own notebook. If you are writing in your own notebook, take a moment to fast forward, pause, write the notes down, and then take a moment to just re-listen. First, let's go through the steps for solving multi-step equations with distribution. The first thing we're going to do today, and I'm going to have you put a star by this, is we're going to eliminate parentheses by distribution. We have worked on distribution previously, so if you need more specific help with this, you'll want to see my other video. Then the rest of the steps are repeating what we've been doing this year. You're going to decide what to undo first, meaning we're going to look at PEMDAS and we're going to work backwards. So the first thing we're going to do, and we're going to keep writing this over and over again, we're going to undo any addition or subtraction. And then we're going to undo any multiplication or division. These are the same steps. So we're adding one step of distribution today. All right, so let's just review distribution quick. This is a refresher. If you need more of a refresher, see my previous videos. So when I distribute, the first thing I want to see is those arrows, okay? And I'm actually going to color coordinate these. Let's do the first arrow. The first arrow I'm going to show work. I'm going to show that I'm taking negative 2 times 3x. That gets me to negative 6x, okay? You don't have to show this line of work, but... I want you to be aware of when I do my second distribution, that's a negative 2 times a negative 4y. So that becomes a positive 8y. You need that plus sign. This is an expression, which means everything needs a plus or minus in the middle. And we have a third term. So we're going to take negative 2 and multiply it by positive 5. That would get me to a negative 10. So this is what my final expression needs to look like. All right, let's follow our steps. Line down the equal sign, please. It helps us stay organized. Step 1 today is to distribute. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute that 2 times x, and I'm going to distribute that 2 times positive 2, which is a positive 4. The 14 drops down because we didn't use it. Step 2, as always so far, is to undo any addition or subtraction. I see that the letter has a plus 4, so I'm going to minus 4. The 2x falls down, and I have a 10 as my number value. Step 3, I'm going to undo any multiplication or division. So instead of times 2, we're going to divide 2. The x falls down. What I do to one side, I do to the other. So again, if you are watching this later and you need help on these last two steps, you want to see a previous video, okay? You want to look at the solve two-step equations video. All right, let's draw a line down the equal sign. I'm going to distribute that 5 first. That's my step 1. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times negative 2y is negative 10y, okay? Take a moment to observe what just happened there. The equals falls down and the negative 15 falls down. Next step, undo any addition or subtraction. Well, here's my y over here, and I see there's a positive 15. Ignore that negative. That negative is part of the 10. I care about the single number. The single number says positive 15, so we're going to minus 15. Okay, watch what falls down. Negative 10y falls down. That matters. This is a tough one. Maybe put a star by this because that's a very unique situation. Negative 15 minus 15. It's colder out. If you think temperature, we're down to negative 30. 
my last step, instead of timesing by negative 10, we're going to divide by negative 10. So the y falls down, the equals falls down, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, 30 divided by 10 is 3. All right, let's draw a line down the equal sign. Now, there's only a negative outside, so technically, I'm distributing a negative 1. So negative 1 times x is negative 1x. Negative 1 times negative 4, a negative times a negative is a positive. 1 times 4 is 4. Okay, so maybe make that plus sign bold so you don't forget about it. The 14 falls down. Next step, we're going to undo any addition or subtraction. It says plus 4, so we're going to undo it by subtracting 4. The negative 1x falls down. 14 minus 4 gets me to 10. My last step, instead of timesing by negative 1, I'm going to divide by negative 1. The x falls down. 10 divided by negative 1 is negative 10. Let's try this one. Line down the equal sign. I'm going to distribute first. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times negative 2m. Let me show that. 3 times negative 2m is negative 6m. Okay, be careful with those signs. The equals and the 9 falls down. Second step, we're going to undo any addition or subtraction. Ooh, put a star by this one. This is one of those special ones, okay? Look at the 18. It's a positive 18. So instead of positive, we're going to subtract. See how that looks? That big negative symbol belongs to the 6. That's a negative 6. I care about the 18. So I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. The negative 6m falls down. Okay? 9 subtract 18 gets me to negative 9. Use your calculator if you need to. The last step is to undo any multiplication or division. So instead of times negative 6, we're going to divide by negative 6. The m falls down, equals falls down. Uh-oh, 9 doesn't divide by 6. So let's talk about this. A positive will be my solution because a negative divided by a negative is a positive, right? Let's talk about this 9 sixths. It doesn't divide, but I can cut them both by 3. I can simplify or reduce the fraction. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we're going to leave our answer as 3 over 2. Now, if you use your calculator, I would accept 1.5 as well because it's a terminating decimal, meaning it ends. Let's take a look at this one. Draw a line down the equal sign. First step, distribution. Negative 4 times positive 3 is negative 12x. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Watch that positive. And the equals 16 falls down. Step 2, undo any addition or subtraction. Instead of a letter plus 4, we're going to minus 4. The negative 12x falls down, and on the right side, I now have a 12. My last step, undo any multiplication or division. Instead of times negative 12, we're going to divide by negative 12. The x falls down, and 12 divided by negative 12 is negative 1. All right, let's draw a line down the equal sign. Don't let this one throw you off. It's just like all the others. Let's start with distributing. I have, first of all, a negative times a positive is a negative. And then it says half times 4. Well, what's half of 4? 2, right? When you're multiplying by a fraction, you're just, in this case, cutting it in half. Bring the x down with it, though, right? Then a negative times a positive is a negative. 
and half times six. Well, what's half of six? Three. So don't let a fraction throw you off. Just cut it in whatever many pieces it says to. So equals negative five, that falls down. Undo any addition or subtraction. Instead of minus three, we're going to plus three. The negative 2x falls down. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. Last step, instead of times negative 2, we're going to undo it by dividing by negative 2. The x falls down. Anything divided by itself in the whole wide world is 1. All right, so make sure if you're still struggling with two-step, maybe consider re-watching previous videos. When we watch a video the first time, we don't remember everything because we're writing or we're distracted. But if we just watch and listen, it'll help, I promise. So consider re-watching videos. As always, make sure you check out Google Classroom. What's our task today? What do we need to finish? Where are we at timeline-wise? And then let me know if you have any questions. Until next time, have a good one.